When Caitlin first started this program, I was helping her write all of her papers. I was helping her do her homework. Uh, she was she was very unsure of herself and uh, resulted in a, in a few meltdowns. Uh, I can't do it, I can't do it. The beginning of, of the semester last year, it was very difficult because I was a new student and my teachers pushed me to become the person I should be. And I thought it was very hard, but now, this year, I'm a different person and a good leader, and I'm really proud of myself. The correct answer is H. Caitlin had the correct answer. For the future, I think that the ACT program has really prepared her to be able to be employable and to mature and live on her own. Uh, the, the program has afforded her the independence that I never expected to see. Uh, I have learned to let go and let her be independent. A couple of years ago, if you had asked me that question, I don't know if I would have had the same answer, but I really feel that there, there is a future and that she will achieve the goals that she set out and the ACT program has put her on the right path. Does anyone else have anything different? I wanted to be a teacher and I wanted to be in a good college, and I was scared. I thought there wasn't going to be a college for special ed, but I know there was an act, so I'm glad I got to be in this program and a college to help me prepare for the future. Well, my son Liam uh, has been going here for about a year and a half, and uh, he saw all his friends going to college, you know, and he was like, well, you know, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I, I figured, hey, you know, like I saw this program come up, and, and I heard lots of wonderful things about it, so I enrolled him, and, and here he is today, loving it. I went to at the police. Right, that was the cool. reason I'm being at here is because, like, I just want to become, like, um, a, a mature adult so I can be more like my, my dad and my brother so I could like, you know, spend my money, getting a real job. You know what I'm saying, right? My favorite presentation this year, I learned how to be positive in life and we had to read the chapters and putting in a PowerPoint and it really taught me a lot how to be a good person and not put myself down. The answer is They've um, given her the, the confidence to, to do things that she otherwise would not have done, otherwise would not have challenged herself to do or thought that she was capable of doing. And they've taught me to back off and allow her to do that. We're a house of men, so we, you know, we're a little bit sloppy, you know, so we never really made our beds, but you know, he came home with this idea that he should make his bed every day. So now he makes his bed every day and that and it got to a point where like, I'm like, oh, I feel embarrassed now because he makes his bed, I don't make my bed. So now I make my bed every day. He's very, very neat now. Like he cleans up after himself. He puts everything into the dishwasher it's supposed to be. Um, the, the latest and the greatest now is he, he does the laundry and you know, and when I tell all my friends and family, I'm like, yeah, well, Liam does the laundry in the house. They're like, they, they, nobody believes me. I'm like, well, it's true. So job sampling is just kind of like a like a volunteer thing to see if he likes doing it or not doing it. So he um he he started the he started the library about a year and a half ago and um absolutely enjoys it. It's very you know it's very right up his alley. Now he's doing the two job sampling. He's working at um, the shop right in Washington Township and uh, he he seems to enjoy that as well. So I think it's you know it's, it's a great program. Some of my responsibilities in my job are. Checking the bathrooms to make sure it's stocked. And on Fridays I bus. And then on Saturdays and Sundays I host. Um, Tyler you, came in as a volunteer and from Rowan College. And from the first day he got here, we already knew that we were gonna hire him. Cause he's such a sweetheart. He's great with the customers. The customers love him. He's very entertaining. He sings and dances all day long, and he's been a great addition to our restaurant. He makes everybody happy. I get to interact with the customers. They're not just the customers, they're more like friends. I love my job, and I love working here. We love the students, 
and I think that other restaurants or businesses would love it as well. They're a great addition to the restaurant. As far as the future, I mean, it, it, it I, you know, it's it's endless, right? He's looking for that, you know, that job, that responsibility, make his own money to buy his own things. So, um, he he's well on his way. I hope I could face the challenge of becoming a better adult. Step by step. For the parents okay. who are thinking of putting their children in this program, trust the teachers here. Trust your child. Um, back off a little bit. Let them let them grow up. Let them spread their wings. It's unbelievable what they're capable of. We spend so much time protecting them that we forget to allow them to grow and to learn and to make mistakes. Mistakes are okay. It's okay because that's what they learn from. They learn from those mistakes and that's what helps them grow. Good. Anybody else have anything different? If you do want what your child you to be more independent and, and, and become more, you know, mature, I mean, this is this is the place to do it. I mean, I think all the, you know, all the, the staff and, and the, the administration, they this has been absolutely incredible and, you know, and they, they, they make everything easy for you. If you want your child to be independent, you have to let them be independent. And I think that that was the biggest challenge was me letting go and letting her grow up. Joining us next is Alice Smith, Employment Specialist and Supervisor at Rowan College at Gloucester County's Adult Center for Transition. She's here to tell us about a program that's offering local young people with disabilities the chance at a brighter future. Thank you so much for joining us today, Alice. Thank you for having me. We're pleased you could be here. I wanted to start out by asking you for just a little bit of background on what the Adult Center for Transition is and what you do. The Adult Center for Transition is a post-secondary program that prepares young adults with disabilities the opportunity to become independent, contributing members of society. Now the center has uh, an interesting event coming up called a reverse job fair. Could you tell us about how that's different from a traditional job fair and just who you would encourage to attend? Sure. Our reverse job fair is going to take place on April 20th this year in the cafeteria at Rowan Campus. Um, a reverse job fair is unique. It's a trendy kind of job fair. It's where the students prepare their booth while the employers walk around to speak to qualified candidates. So it really gives the students a chance to meet the employers and kind of sell their own skill set. Exactly. It sounds like a pretty innovative concept. Is there anything else over at the Adult Center for Transition that you're doing just a little bit differently? Absolutely. We started a business information session. We started this last month. Our guest speaker was Kathy Hyde, the Vice President of Human Resources at South Jersey Federal Credit Union. This month, we're going to have Tom Dolgus from Home Depot come out and speak to our students to let them know what jobs are available at these locations to see if they spark any interest for the students. Now I understand that a number of the center's students are actually uh, receiving job training experiences at Rowan College at Gloucester County. Can you tell us about some of the different roles that they fill? Yes, certainly. Many of the departments here at Rowan College have graciously opened the doors and allowed our students to come in and gain valuable work experience. Some of those departments are financial aid, the facilities department, human resources, and student services. Some of our students have performed so well at job sampling that they now are paid employees at RCGC. Now you've mentioned uh, job sampling. Can you tell us a little bit about what that is, what it looks like? Sure. This is where the student goes out to a couple different businesses and gains hands-on work experience with the assistance of a job coach. So Alice, are there students receiving uh, job placements off of RCGC's campus? Yes, they are. There are many businesses that we partner with that open their doors and allow our students to come in and job sample. Some of those places are ShopRite Botinos, Jefferson Health, South Jersey Federal Credit Union, Nifty Fifties. The students go out to job sample and some of them have performed so well that the businesses have hired them. And what would you say to a local business that's considering bringing on an ACT student? I ask them to enhance and diversify their workplace and to hire qualified candidates. 
and how can people find out more if they want to uh, contact the Adult Center for Transition, participate in the reverse job fair, or even a local business that wants to volunteer to come out and talk a little bit about what they do? We invite anyone who wants more information to visit our website or call us or email us at the following places. Well, it sounds like the Adult Center for Transition offers the perfect combination of resources and support to help young people down the path to a rewarding career. Thank you so much for stopping by to tell us about it. Thank you for having me.